Imagine standing on uh, solid ground. At least you think that you are standing on uh, solid ground. But then imagine that uh, all of a sudden you started feeling motions. The earth uh, is uh, shaking right under, underneath you. Now you would assume that is uh, an earthquake. But uh, also imagine uh, the earth moving uh, like a wave, as if uh, it's water moving down uh, a hill and taking uh, everything uh, that's on its path down uh, with it. Well, this is exactly what uh, we witnessed uh, just a few days ago, over a week ago, as a result of the uh, earthquake which uh, caused uh, a tsunami to hit Indonesia, in some part of uh, Indonesia. Well, again, imagine, imagine the uh, pictures that I just uh, drew for you there. Well, let's not imagine that anymore. L let me play for you a few clips of uh, some video showing uh, just that.
terjadi As you just saw, this was a terrible situation, a very graphic uh, and frightening uh, picture. It was almost as if uh, these folks were living uh, in a movie scene, but it was not the case. Uh, and as Jesus says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 7, uh, Matthew 24, verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And notice verse 8, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. So what we just saw in these uh, clips there are just the beginning of sorrows. We haven't seen uh, anything uh, yet. Yes, we know that uh, Satan is busy. Yes, we know that uh, the Bible says uh, that Satan has come down upon us, uh, Revelation chapter 12, uh, because he knoweth but he had, uh, he, that he has but a short time. But we also read uh, these things, uh, these calamities, uh, God uh, allowed them to happen uh, as warnings to awake not only his people, but as a warning for the world of uh, what's about to come. Notice with me what Spirit of Prophecy says here on the screen. She says, the restraining spirit of God is even now being withdrawn from the world. Hurricanes, storms, tempests, fire and flood, disasters by sea and land follow each other in quick succession. Science seeks to explain all these. The signs thickening around us telling of the near approach of the Son of God. Ah, notice carefully with me. Let's read that one more time. The signs thickening around us telling of of the near approach of the Son of God are attributed to any other than the true cause. Let's pause there for a moment. So what is the true cause of these things, whether or not it's Satan behind it, or whether or not if the tsunami was caused by man, what is it about? Why does God allow it to happen? Because it is a sign, as Jesus was describing, signs of the times to the disciples uh, that would be indication uh, of his soon return. So again, she says, uh, back to the screen, these signs thickening around us telling of the near approach of the Son of God are attributed to any other than the true cause. Men cannot discern the sentinel angels restraining the four winds that they shall not blow until the servants of God are sealed. But when God shall bid his angels loose the winds, there will be such a scene of strife as no man can picture. So like the Bible just uh, said here in uh, verse 8 of Matthew 24, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And as Sister Wife says here, there will be a scene of such a scene of strife that no man can picture. So we haven't seen uh, anything terrifying, anything uh, yet. The worst uh, is uh, yet uh, to come. But remember what the Bible says uh, in uh, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 26, uh, verse 3. And the Bible says, uh, Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Who? Who will be in perfect peace? Whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth uh, in thee. So we don't need to be afraid. We don't need uh, to be horrified. We don't need to be like those who have uh, no hope of salvation. God says, I will keep thee in perfect peace. And who will have that peace that passes all understanding throughout these storms? Those who have uh, kept their eyes on uh, the Lord. Verse 4 says, Trust ye in the Lord 
forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So God will keep us in perfect peace. Remember again, Sister White says that, and Christ says in Matthew chapter 24, those things are allowing, have been allowing to happen because it's part of the signs of the soon return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Notice another passage here on the screen. It says from Review and Herald, May 21st, 1901, paragraph 4, important events are about to take place. While the world is asking in scorn, where is the promise of His coming? The signs are rapidly fulfilling. While men are crying peace and safety, sudden destruction is coming. The Spirit of God is being withdrawn from the earth and calamity is following calamity by land and by sea. Tempests and earthquakes, fires and floods are heard of on every hand. Notice, only in God can security be found. So therefore, this is the reason why God promised us that He will keep us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on, on thee. Because why? Because we have put our trust in the Lord. So as you saw in those videos there, the earth was shaking, trembling, cracking, opening, moving like waves underneath these individuals. There was nowhere to run. No, nowhere to run. So as long as we are in this earth, there will be nowhere to run except in the arm of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Loving Father which art in heaven, thank you for giving us this hope. Thank you for giving us this peace. Though we may see calamities, though we may see plagues falling all around us, but you have promised, as you have said in Psalm 91, it shall not come nigh thee. Father, help us to continue continuously to keep our mind, our eyes focused on thee. And uh, as we do so, you would do what we cannot do for ourselves. Thank you for that. In Jesus' precious name, amen.